Who will we see in the new chapter of Poppy Playtime? And who will be the main villain of the chapter 4? And when will we see all these characters? Hello everyone, in Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 we saw such new bosses as Catnap, Dog Day, Miss Delight, but all of them are already well known to us, and so in this video I decided to collect for you the most probable variants of these characters that may appear in the new chapter. And the first one I would like to tell you about is a very interesting character that you all have already seen in Project Playtime, but he has never been in the Poppy series. We're talking about Boxy Boo, of course. Boxy Boo was one of the characters we see on the very ominous tape, The Hour of Joy. Boxy Boo is one of the main monsters whose death we haven't seen yet. Yes, in previous versions of the game, we have seen the death of such characters as Huggy Waggy, Mommy Longlegs, and of course the main character of the third part of Poppy Playtime Catnap. Well, and we shouldn't forget about his former friends from Smiling Critters who died at his hands. So for now, from the most known characters we have Boxy Boo. So we can expect his appearance with high probability. My opinion about Boxy Boo is that I would be happy to see him in the new version of the game, if only the developers could introduce him into the story and make his existence in the game as interesting as possible. The next character that many people are expecting is Prototype. You will say to me, well we have seen him in previous versions of the game. In the first chapter he was in the form of a reference on the tape. In the second part of the game he dragged away the remains of Mommy Longlegs. Well, and in the third part, he was the main villain who was obeyed by Catnap and forced everyone else to do the same. Maybe in Poppy Playtime Chapter 4, we will see him in full form and we will see what the sacrifices of all the monsters led to. Of course, there is a theory that Prototype is actually kind and wanted to free all the monsters from the abuse of the Poppy Factory workers, but then how can we explain the murder of his main subordinate by Catnap? Well, besides the above-mentioned characters, mob entertainment developers can add completely new monsters that we have never seen before. As for example, in the third chapter, they added Miss Delight, and maybe it will be one of the old forgotten characters that we could see in the form of a drawing or a toy. We can only wait for the release of the game trailer of the new part of the game to dispel all our assumptions. Before I talk about one of the characters, I would like to ask you, are you sure that all the smiling critters are dead? What if they are alive and waiting for their moment to appear in the new chapter of Poppy Playtime? I'm 99% sure that all the screams we've heard on their cards are imitations, and we'll definitely see some of them in Poppy Playtime Chapter 4, and the first of those characters will be the familiar Bobby Bear Hug. From what we have heard, it is easy to understand that Bobby is a very kind and sweet character who is not happy with what is happening to her and her friends at Playtime Co. But what if, after a very successful experience with Catnap, who is willing to serve the prototype faithfully, the decision was made to continue their experiments with the rest of the smiling critters? I think we will see Bobby Bear Hug somewhere in the middle of the new chapter, and at first she will be presented as a positive character who will try to help us through the transition, but at the most crucial moment when we need her help, she will show her true face and betray us, and maybe even try to eat us. I am more than sure that we will be forced to return to Playcare and the house where so many strange things are waiting for us. And unfortunately, we will have to kill the cutest of the smiling critters, our bear Bobby Bear Hug. Whether her behavior will change because of the prototype that only wants to hurt us, or whether someone else will be the cause of her anger, we will find out in a year's time in the new chapter of Poppy Playtime. And the next monsters you probably already know. This is a long-legged family. Of all of them we have seen only Mommy Longlegs but the rest of the family in the past parts of the game to observe us did not happen. Even though we know that the prototype took Mommy Longleg's body at the end of Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, I'm sure he's doing it for a reason. Maybe his main goal in life is to resurrect all these monsters or reincarnate them into more powerful characters, and if that's the case, I'm sure that Mommy Longlegs will appear as a supporting character in the new chapter. Well, Mommy Longlegs isn't the only member of their family. Daddy Long Legs may also appear in the new chapter, and considering the fact that we haven't seen him yet, I'm sure his appearance is almost certain. But as what kind of character? Whether he'll be positive or negative is hard to say. On the one hand, his wife died because of us, but there is also a prototype who took her body, and it is unknown what he will do with it. However, I am more sure that Daddy Long Legs will be on the side of the prototype, because as we know, the prototype is very good at subduing monsters and it is very easy to make a grief-stricken Daddy Long Legs think that we killed his beloved wife. I think if he does show up, we'll see him towards the end of the fourth chapter, maybe even before we meet the prototype himself. However, we can't rule out the possibility that we'll see Catnap, who has already died. Of course, he will not be one of the main villains like in the third chapter, but as a secondary character, he is perfect. And this could be the same situation as with Mommy Long Legs. We all know that the prototype killed Catnap, but this unbelievably horrible cat is so popular that I think it's necessary to make him a reference in the new chapter. 
But how will that happen? I'm sure that in Chapter 4, the biggest secret of the Playtime Corporation will be revealed. And we'll finally find out who the prototype is. But it will be at the end. But before that, we will see Catnap fighting with some bosses in the window or somewhere else, who will help us first, like in the third chapter. But I think everyone understands that this help will not be for the sake of our salvation, but just so that we can finally meet the prototype. Maybe Catnap will be the one to help us kill Daddy Longlegs. That would be very interesting. The next character didn't appear anywhere. He's really cut. He was cut before he could even be added. This character is Psydog. He was going to be added. At first he was in the form of a robot dog, but then apparently the developers thought they already had one robot and a second one wouldn't fit into the game, so they decided to cut him out. Another rumor is that Psydog is the prototype for Love Dog. We couldn't find this dog even in the warehouse with rejected toys. Maybe it was hidden somewhere in the textures or on some pictures or tapes, but we couldn't find it. However, some fans managed to find a Love Dog model, so I assume that Love Dog and Psydog are the same character. Just the developers decided to revise the character. There is another character that will most likely appear in the fourth part of our favorite game, and that is Bubba Bubba Font. He first appeared as a minor character in the lineup of Smiling Animals. Bubba Bubba Fant, like Bobby Bearhug, was part of the third chapter, but we still haven't seen him as a full-fledged monster. But in my opinion, he deserves the most attention from the developers. Our elephant is the driving force of the animals. He is very attentive and always ready to support his friends and guide them on the right path. But the very experiments that have been done on him may be the cause of his madness. And maybe just like Bobby Bearhug, he seems like a nice character at first, but then he betrays us. To be honest, I would love to see every single character of Smiling Critters revealed one by one, because they are all unique in their own way. Who is your favorite Critters? Let me know in the comments. And the last character is also a monster from the Smiling Critters team, Kickin' Chicken. I was interested in him because he was the only character who talked directly about trying to get out of this place. I don't think he's going to be presented to us as the boss, but as a secondary character telling us his story, I'd love to see him. And of course, the most important question that absolutely every fan of Poppy Playtime is interested in is the release date of the new fourth chapter of our favorite game. The third chapter has not had time to get boring yet, and many fans are already guessing and trying to predict the release date of the fourth chapter. Once on their Twitter, Mob Entertainment said that the development of the third chapter began in my 2023, and the release took place in January 2024, and therefore the entire development cycle was about eight months. So what did the developers do the rest of the time? I think after the release of the second chapter, the focus of their attention shifted to the studio's merchandise and the Playtime project. And to be as objective as possible, eight months is a very short period of time for such a quality product that we ended up with. Not only did Mob Entertainment meet the short deadline, but I suspect that they made the game even faster than originally planned. In spite of all the problems they managed to overcome and release a perfect game that you want to play and play. Well, maybe that post was a reference to the fourth chapter? What if Mob Entertainment wanted to give us a hint about how long we should wait for the next chapter? But I think it's just a conspiracy. On a more serious note, I'm sure that the next chapter won't be released for at least a year, and I'm going to explain why. I believe that the third chapter has become an idol in the Poppy Playtime universe and has surpassed the previous two chapters combined, which means that the fourth chapter should simply destroy our brains. And in this case, the game has to be not only very detailed, but also maximally thought out and preferably for four or five hours of gameplay. And that's not an easy task. That's why I will make the game for January-February 2025. 